Uh, welcome to the FMD interview. Uh, today we have a pleasure to meet with Ambassador of New Zealand to Poland, Ms. Wendy Hilton. Good morning. Um, at the very beginning, I would like to ask you a question about relations between Poland and New Zealand. Last year, we celebrated the 40th anniversary of mutual relations. Can you tell us how the contemporary relations look uh, now, uh, nowadays? Well, from, from our point of view at least, the uh, relationship between New Zealand and Poland is, is thriving. It uh, has, a, has a strong historical base, as you know. You know, Yesterday we had our exhibition on the 70th anniversary of the arrival in New Zealand of 733 Polish children during the war. But we have uh, ties which go back much further. In fact, the first Polish settlers uh, arrived in New Zealand in 1872 from northern Poland. So we have a strong historical base, but today, you know, we have a growing um, economic and trade base as well. So we have a we have a strong political relationship. We support each other in all sorts of things. We're very like-minded. We share the same values, and uh, on top of that, we have a growing um, trade and economic relationship. So I would like to um, ask you another question when it comes to the relations between Poland and New Zealand, uh, because we had this um, anniversary. Uh, there were some events uh, here in Warsaw and in New Zealand in Wellington organized by, by the both embassies. Can you tell us a little bit more about, those, um, about this anniversary? Well, as I just said, you know, the children, um, some of the uh, children who came from Siberia by Iran um, came to New Zealand in 1944. Um, the, um, there's a long story, but basically our wartime prime minister uh, was a man called Peter Fraser. And he was convinced by the, the Polish consul at the time to um, take, um, you know, basically a shipload of these children. And he worked with this uh, Polish consul to bring these 733 children from Iran to New Zealand. There's a street named after Peter Fraser in, in Ursinov. Nobody knows who he is, but that is who he is. Um, so uh, 70 years later, uh, most of those children stayed in New Zealand and they have formed the basis of New Zealand's very sort of strong and vibrant Polish society. So it is worth celebrating. New Zealand has gained a lot of really excellent citizens from this move. These children who had had a pretty harrowing time um, in the war, you know, came to New Zealand and uh, were accepted, you know, uh, by, uh, by New Zealanders and, and, and given, uh, given a hope for life. Uh, so um, it, there's, there's quite a bit to celebrate out of, out of a sad story and, and that's what we're doing. Um, a delegation, or in fact three delegations from, from Poland will go to New Zealand next week to attend the commemoration events in Wellington and in Pakiatua, a small town where these children uh, first, uh, first ended up. Um, there'll be a Senate delegation, a parliamentary delegation and a delegation from the um, Veterans uh, Ministry. Um, so, you know, <laughs> we hope the Polish delegations will have a great time and they get to know a little bit more about New Zealand and about New Zealanders and about the sort of country which gave these children a home.